I just wrote a, an article called My First Blood Rite. I had to do this. I had to cast. I was just learning about witchcraft and, and I was just learning about the nature of ritual. And I took my blood and, and took it with ochre and I made a paste and I painted that crescent moon on my third eye in the mirror and, and I really owned the ancientness of this understanding and how we have lived with sacredness and the menstrual experience before. You can see this in the ancient artifacts, the really old artifacts, the 30,000 30, year old artifacts. You can see the sacredness of the feminine, sacredness of women and the sacredness of the blood. Where we are now and compared to where that came from, there's such a huge difference. So to me, that first ritual that I had to do, I had no choice. I could not not do it. It wasn't just a piece of art that needed to be made. This was a, a threshold that I had to cross so that I could never undo this moment. When I crossed that threshold, I took that blessing on and I, I made a little pace and I, I did a spiral in my heart and I, and I did that little painted heart every night before I went to bed, um, every night of that, that moon, from dark moon to dark moon, to make me accountable to this power and to, to take myself really quite profoundly seriously. I was 20 something at the time and I'm grateful that I had the kahunas to go there because the amount of stuff you had to cross, the amount of cultural noise that I had to step across to get there, that's what I've built in the class, is how, how you as a woman now can find your way, your pathway to the kind of permission that you're going to need to own this. As a woman, you're going to have to give yourself permission to find yourself valid in your menstrual experience.